Hello, and welcome back to Colonial Airstream. My name is Patrick Botticelli, and I'm a salesperson here at Colonial Airstream in Millstone Township, New Jersey. Today, I'm gonna to take you through the new 2025 Airstream Flying Cloud 28RB. This one happens to be the queen bed model, but it's also available in twins. This trailer is 28 feet, two inches from ball to bumper. It's eight feet, five and a half inches wide. You have an interior headroom of six foot seven, and next to your height is nine foot five. That's from the ground to the top of the air conditioning. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,600 pounds and a dry weight before options of 5,900 pounds, giving you 1,700 pounds of net cargo carrying capacity, and the hitch weight is 800 160 pounds before options. I'm gonna start around the outside. I'm gonna do things a little bit different this time. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. You have a double entrance step that folds up. So if you only wanted one step, you can fold it up like this and tuck it away. You have manual stabilizer jacks, all four corners, heated tanks, and enclosed underbelly for those unexpected drops in temperatures. You also have a Zip D manual awning with sun umbrella material. There's a procedure for this. We cover that in all our service tech tech videos. So please subscribe so you can check those out as well. Over here by the entry door, you got some grip tape so you don't slip out. You have composite flooring underneath uh, the vinyl flooring over here. And this is angled so you can easily sweep the trailer out. You got aluminum extrusion frame here. It's all welded in place. You got a gutter rail over the entry door. You even have a grab handle. Screen door is all aluminum and it even has screen door guards built in. You have a lock and deadbolt and a catch for the door. And then when you swing the screen door shut, covers that gap. The whole trailer is insulated. There's an aluminum sheet, you got aluminum rib, you got aluminum interior sheet, and there's insulation that goes all the way around. You have tinted safety glass, both of these windows open, outside GFCI protected electrical outlet. It's a double axle trailer, 225, 75, R15 inch tires, 15 inch rims obviously, and it has low range E tires, so you can inflate these maximum up to 80 PSI, up to 80 miles an hour. These are never lube hubs, never adjust brakes, and you got a shock absorber each wheel, and it's a Dexter uh, torsion axle system, so there's less moving parts, gives you a really low center of gravity, and when we sell aftermarket, if you need some extra lift, we have the Dexter lift kit we sell here. You go up three inches. You have a uh, belt line protection over here, rub rail protection over here, and then it wraps up to that enclosed underbelly. There's jack point locations underneath. You can see all the windows are buck riveted in place. You got a porthole window. This is called a stacked window. This one opens all the way out. Every window that opens in the trailer does have an insect screen. If you look underneath that awning, you got the LED light strip there that illuminates this area at night. And it's also dimmable. You can turn it on and off from inside the trailer. LED marker lights, beautiful panoramic window all the way around the back here. Get that view front and rear. Cast aluminum taillight housings here. You got an insulated, weather sealed, and lockable rear trunk. The vinyl flooring that's in the trailer is all throughout. And even everything that's inside this trailer was hand carried through that door. Yes, they build the shell first, they marry it to the chassis, and then they hand deliver, hand put everything inside the trailer. It's different than most travel trailers where they Put everything in, build the walls around it. You got some tools here, manual override for electric hitch jack, stabilizer jack, crank, a multi-tool, and a hose for a portable barbecue grill that you could buy aftermarket. It snaps in up front in a quick release port. And then there's a light in each compartment that opens. You got a license plate bracket over here, flying cloud medallion. This window doubles as emergency exit from the inside so you can climb out if you need to. Pause aluminum rear bumper with bumper caps. And then this back bumper lifts up to get to your additional storage and there's a mat in there. Whatever you're gonna keep in there can get wet, so just be mindful. If you wanna keep your nice clean things in your trunk and blocks, wheel chocks, power cord, maybe in the bumper. Up top, there's a wireless backup camera, also comes with a monitor. The monitor plugs into your 12 volt socket in your tow vehicle. You turn on your parking lights or headlights in your tow vehicle, that will power the camera and you get a vision of what's behind you when you're driving down the highway. Another stabilizer jack point location here. This trailer has a 
a black tank that is 35 gallons, 37 gallons gray tank, and a 38 gallon freshwater tank. To discharge those tanks, you take the cap off, snap on the waste hose, pull a black handle first, let your waste discharge, close it, open a gray, let the soapy shower water wash, wash out your waste hose. And then once you are done, if you wanna do a high pressure flush, you can reopen the black, hook up a garden hose all the way up here, to this connection right here, take the cap off, turn the hose on. Inside the tank, there's a sprayer wand that will wash the residual waste off the walls inside your tank. That way your trailer doesn't smell when you put it away for storage. Make sure you exercise and use that each and every time you're done using the trailer so your trailer doesn't stink. You got a window awning, which is part of the window awning package, which is one of the factory options available. It's a must have. It shades your windows and your body, it keeps the trailer a lot cooler. On the roof, you see there's two air conditioner units. There's a 15,000 BTU up front and then an optional 13,500 BTU air conditioner in the bedroom. There's also two skylights, one in the galley, one in the hall. You got two bathroom fans. You have a fantastic or max fan in the living area. And then this has the optional 300 watts of solar. So there's three separate Merlin panels up there. And it also has the optional lithium iron phosphate batteries, the Battleborn batteries, 200 amp hours with heat. So this one is fully loaded and even has the convection microwave upgrade instead of the standard gas oven. Here's how you fill your freshwater tank. Undo with the key, stick the hose in. There's a drain valve between the axles. You have a city water connection if you just wanna supply water to all your plumbing when you're hooked up at a campground, you hook it up here. This has a water pressure regulator built in. In order to get the water out of this tank, there's a 12 volt demand pump that you turn on inside, pressurize the system. Once the system's pressurized, pump shuts off, feels a drop in pressure, kicks back on. When you hook up here, it does not fill here. Now, these are two separate systems. Uh, there's also drip tubes in the wheel well. That way, when your air conditioning condensation doesn't run down the sides of the trailer, it drips through little tubes that are built in. This is a 50 amp trailer because it has two air conditioners. We at Colonial will give you a 50 to 30 amp adapter so you can plug it in at a 30 amp campground if you needed to. Mindful enough to think that I can't run two air conditioners at the same time on 30 amps, so you have to remember that. Uh, but we also give you an adapter that goes from 30 amp to a 15 or 20 amp household outlet so you could power your electrical outlets or charge the battery. Also out here, there's an ethernet port, so if you wanted to hook in like a portable satellite dish, I'm sorry, ethernet or a portable satellite dish or camp cable, you have both connections right here. There's an outside utility shower with hot and cold water with a wand. That's the black tank flush. This is the 30,000 B2 propane forced out air furnace that not only heats the room, it also heats your tanks down below. And this has Gerard tankless water heater, it's propane. So there's two ways to heat the trailer. We talked about the air conditioner with the heat pumps. The, those will work when it's above 40 degrees and they run on electricity. And when you're not plugged into electricity or you want a, a higher heating uh, source, that, that's the way you would use your propane furnace. Thin plate production information, tire pressure, recommendation. You also have stainless steel wrap protectors to protect the body. It's thicker than the aluminum that's here. It's also heavier, so we can't build the whole trailer out of it. It's gapped from the body to allow for some deflection. It's also hinged, so you could swing them out and clean leaves and debris out from behind. You have solar stone guards. It's over your glass. They're also removable for cleaning. And then you could open up this middle one and open your window all the way out. You have two 30 pound propane tanks with automatic switch over. Colonial Airstream does fill them and this whole entire cover can come completely off. Behind that, we have your battery compartment and this has the two lithium iron phosphate batteries, 100 amp hours a piece, battle born with the heat, but it's locked, thick plate here so no one could break in. Electric hitch jack to manually, sorry, power up and down. You also have a light and you can take this cap off to manually crank it up and down. Two and five sixteenth inch ball steel frame. It's a box frame, not a C channel. You have your trailer breakaway cable, safety chains, which you want to crisscross. And then the propane quick release port is right there. Maximum 25,000 BTU for a little small grill. Yeah, over here, there's a solar port. So if you wanted to hook up additional solar panels, you could plug them in. That solar panel is gonna to need to have its own solar charge controller, and it will be either or. If you want them both to work, you could just add a third solar charge controller. And then the spare tire is right over here. So what you could do is you pull this pin out, 
and the tire could drop down. It's a full size spare with steel wheel. So you want to make sure you check your tire pressure and lug nut torque on the trailer each and every time. But you also want to check it on your spare. Don't forget about that spare. You don't want to pull that thing down and realize that that's flat too. So each and every time you tow the trailer, tire pressure and lug nut torque. And go through your checklist in the owner's manual. There's so lots of good information in that manual that will keep you safe. All right, let's go inside. Welcome to this space. What a nice layout. This is one of the few layouts that they separate the sofa and the dinette, giving you two defined separate places. On a 25 and 27 FB, the sofa and dinette are combined. This is where they would be separate. Get that beautiful panoramic view up front. You have some roof locker storage. All the cabinets are plywood with laminate. No particle board in any of the construction in these Airstreams. Premium hardware up here. There's a 2000 watt inverter that comes standard and there's dedicated inverter outlets. You also have USB that you, you could plug, I'm sorry, you have HDMI so you could plug devices into the TVs. There's an antenna booster for the radio and the TVs. Ethernet port and HDMI. There's your JL audio stereo. Owner's manuals all in here. We give you a waste hose that's up here. And this is the power cord adapters I was telling you about. These two corners are blocked off because they're speaker boxes. There's speakers built into them. This is uh, blanket storage, but it's pretty deep. What's nice is when you're done using this as a bed, you could roll up all the bedding and easily tuck it away. Ultra leather material. This is called the Seattle Mist interior decor, but they also have a Carolina clay. And the only difference between the two is the seating color. So Carolina clay is more of a clay look. Seattle Mist is a gray tone. Below that, there is storage, and it comes with these bins, three of these bins. There's a little bit more storage over here, and then you have your CO and propane leak detector. To make this into a bed, slide this out. You could slide the bottom cushions out, or you could take the backrests away, and there you go. You have a bed. 41 by 76. Plenty of room. You could sleep two adults here very easily. Not a problem at all. And the nice thing about this floor plan is they leave this gap here by the door. So if you have folding chairs, you could put them in there. Another inverter switch. You have your battery disconnect switch, ceiling lights, awning light, and there's even a step light. There's a light right next to the step. Blackout curtains all the way around the front. Reading lights for each one of your people seated here. And then you have a window. It opens right here on the side. Got a few different heights. So in this room alone, there's four windows that open. In the bedroom, there's three. Center galley kitchen, laminate countertop, sink cover, stainless steel sink, pull out sprayer with different spray pattern. You can roll down your privacy shade. You got an electrical outlet up top. You have these slimline LED lights, C level two tank monitoring system, battery. Percentage, fresh water, gray, black, all in percentage. Zero, all the way up to 100. Not thirds, not quarters, precise percentage. You could turn on and off your pump from here, and you never want to tow the trailer with the pump on. Don't try it. Solar charge display, 300 watts of solar roof. So on a bright, sunny summer day where the sun is like directly above you and your panels are completely clean, the, you could bet 95, 90% capacity inside. When the sun's lower or partially shade, you're gonna get a little bit less, but these Merlin panels are excellent. You could turn on and off your inverter from here, and you could also dial in and turn on your water heater. Set temperature 124 degrees, turn on your shower, go. If you want the water cooler, don't try to mix it here at each faucet, just turn the temperature down to your desired temperature. Easy peasy. Over here, we got your trash pail. The furnace is behind here, so it doesn't go all the way through. You got a drawer over here. You got a drawer over here. And new for 2025, the TVs are bigger. So those were the plates for the TV. In the galley here, we have a 27 inch TV, bezel-less. So look how slim that frame is. And that's a fixed mount. And in the bedroom, there's a 24 inch TV that looks just like that. And we're over to air right now. That's coming over to air reception. It's beautiful, crisp image. Three burner gas cooktop right here. And these handles light up. 
and it has a spark ignition, optional convection microwave, very popular. So regular microwave and an electric convection oven in one. There's a flip down storage here because your wheel well is behind it. There is a light over the cooktop and ventilation and there is a louver that you unlatch when you're ready to use it outside. Overhead roof locker storage here and then this one happens to be the wireless backup camera monitor that goes in your tow vehicle. Really makes it more pleasant and safe to tow the trailer with the wireless backup or driving camera, whatever you want to call it. Spice rack over here. And if you look up, these are the intakes for both the air conditioner, one here, one in the bedroom. MERV 7 filter, easy to take down and clean, and you must clean them often. It really makes your air conditioning work more efficient. Skylight in the galley with the shade and the ducted air. You could turn on and off each register and you could direct it. Smoke detectors over here, nine volt battery. You want to change that every six months. And it has a max air fan with a motorized lid, variable speed control. You could also do an auto set to temperature 78. So it'll turn on and off until the temperature gets below that threshold. And it has a rain sensor. It'll shut it down when it rains, but you could also disable that. So if you have light rain, you still want the fan on, it will still work. Over to dinette, there's roof locker storage over here. Some key hooks and coat hooks. There's a register for the furnace duct on this side, fire extinguisher. Plenty of seating at the dinette for four people. Plenty of room, you got a light over here. You got some outlets on the back wall, privacy shade. And then when you're ready to fold this down into bed, you lift up on it. Now you can see another outlet down there. Comes out of the cleats on the wall, swings down. And then you take each one of your backrests and you gotta squeeze them in really good. It's brand new and gives me a chance to talk about, look at this awesome stitching, little holes here, really good foam that Airstream uses. And you squeeze this in, you can make it into a bed, which is also 41 by 76. You could sleep two adults here very easily. Over here on the wall is the thermostat control for the air conditioning in this room and also the main furnace for the whole entire coach. You have a battery converter charger down here with all your fuses and breakers and GFCI reset. It's also light next to each one of the fuses. If one of the fuses was to burn, it would illuminate a light to let you know. And then there's a battery charger built into it too. Another furnace ducked over here. You have eight cubic foot compressor, 12 volt style refrigerator. Look how deep that is. You don't get that depth with those old propane fridges. And you could leave this on when you're towing and not have to worry about a fire. And it cools in a couple hours versus seven to 10 hours. All your controls to turn it on and off and adjust temperature and put it in night mode are up top. You got some storage up above here. There's a privacy curtain in this hallway. You could shut down this hallway for privacy. You also have your wardrobe over here with a light inside, wardrobe rod, access panel for the shower faucet. You have your skylight in the bath here with a film on it for, so I can see what you're doing here. Shower, glass door, magnetic strip, latch, light, all fiberglass, two pieces, fiberglass all the way to the ceiling. Don't have to worry about getting a wall material wet or a curtain. Premium shower uh, faucet fixture. You got your uh, residential shower diverter right here, hot cold. There's a clothesline in this compartment, drain plug for the shower floor that you leave in when you're towing. That's a receptacle. You got a fan up top that pushes up and you turn the fan on. And then there's a gap at the top of the air, sorry, the door, so you can get more air volume through. Access panel to get to the plumbing and drain if you ever needed to. Check this thing out. This door latch is magnetic. So there's no piece sticking out right here. As Soon as you close the door, it comes out and that keeps it locked, really secure. So swing this all the way around. So you can see there's a mirror on the back of the door. Got a porcelain toilet, it dumps into that black tank, ball valve for flush. Nice residential height. You got a towel bar over here, GFCI protected electrical outlet, light, mirror, mirror storage, ledge for storage, stainless steel sink, residential faucet, towel bar. Another storage over here, toilet paper holder, furnace duct, 
storage over here, man, they give you a lot of storage in this bathroom. And this big box in the bottom, that's the wheel well. That's where the wheels cut in because it has such a low center of gravity that uh, most trailers build above the wheels because it's easier and it costs less money. But then you have a really tall trailer that could sway around. These things hug the road. And there's also a bathroom fan in here. In the bedroom, there's another privacy curtain over here. TV has, it's all 12 volt for the TVs, but they have electrical outlets too next to them that are inverted, 2000 watts. TV on a swivel, you got another window that opens, another window that opens, full blackout curtains. You have a reading light over each side of the bed, roof locker storage on each side of the bed. There's also speakers in each side, premium mattress, pillow top, memory foam mattress. The whole entire bed will completely lift up very easily. You got some bins over here. You can see the plywood with laminate, no particle board, no sticker wrap. These sides are open so you can easily get it out. You can even reach into the trunk from here. You got a flip down storage over here. These hinges pop off easily if you want a better access. And you fold it down. It comes with the bedspread and the pillows. And again, whether you get Carolina Clay or Seattle Mist, every decor element is the same except for the seats. You can see the other uh, air conditioning filter, four air conditioning ducts in this bedroom, nightstand on either side of the bed with some storage, USB, A and C, a regular electrical outlet, and then here on the wall is your ceiling light and your second comfort control center. That's for your heat pump and air conditioning in the bedroom. Well, thanks for taking the time to check out the new 2025 Airstream Flying Cloud 28 RBQ clean bed here at Colonial Airstream. This Airstream is available and we have many more and even more on order. You can visit us on our website at colonialairstream.com. Call us at 800-265-9019. If you like quicker tours than this quick tour, we do have TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube shorts, really fast tours of these. Again, I'm Patrick Botticelli. I'm a salesperson here, and I'd love to help you and sell you your next Airstream. I'll see you next time.